Hey guys, welcome back to today's video and thanks for choosing my video to watch out of these thousands of options. In today's skincare video, we are going to be trying a really unique product. It's a beauty product that has been squished to about the size of a nickel, guys. It is a compressed sheet mask. Today's product is by Beauty Bits Australia and it comes with 25 compressed sheet masks per pack. And before we go any further, if you're new to my channel guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down below, it really helps me out. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload a new video. Now what's really interesting about a compressed sheet mask, other than the fact that it's already compressed, is that you get to add your own serum or toner to it. It doesn't come soaked in anything already, so you get to make your own at-home face mask. And if you're anything like me, you have about five or six serums on the go at once. So before they expire, this is a really great process to help get rid of them and use them up. And the best part of this mask is totally the customizable aspect, whether you have dry skin that you're looking to get rid of, fine lines or wrinkles, sunspots, you get to choose your own serum and build it and just relax. All right guys, so like I said, these masks come with 25 pieces and I got the assorted kind. There was two kinds there that I saw. One was, both of these are made with bamboo fibers, but one of them contained charcoal and the others were just plain bamboo. So I got the assorted pack that comes with half charcoal, half bamboo. I don't always need that purification that charcoal gives you. So I thought some of them I would use for purification and some of them I would use just for hydration. All right, so as you can see, they're all individually packed in their own little bubble, which is super cool. Um, I'm assuming you just add the serum or lotion right into this little tub and it will swell up um, or grow like one of those little dinosaurs that you add water to. I'm so excited to try these out. All right, so the instructions are pretty simple. It just says to remove the plastic backing and add your favorite moisturizer, serum, or toner. Well, that's unique. Straight in there and it will expand into a full-size mask. Leave on for five to 15 minutes, remove and pat dry. This is a side note and I said this in my last face mask video. At 10 to 15 minutes, make sure you peel the mask off even if it's not fully dry because as soon as the mask starts to dry or becomes dry, it pulls the moisture back out of your skin, which is totally counterproductive. Okay, so because I don't have any zits or pimples right now, I'm not going to use a charcoal one. I'm going to use just the plain white bamboo mask. I don't want to risk pulling out anything that you can't already see. I don't want to encourage any zits. So white just for moisturizing, it will be. All right, let's jump right into this fun experiment with my top three skincare products. So I'm going to totally customize my own face mask. First, I'm gonna add Misha's Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. This is not only gonna help work as a toner for my skin, but it's going to help moisturize at the same time. As well, I'm gonna be adding another Misha product, the Time Revolution Night Repair Ampule. If you haven't heard of this product before, I will have it linked down below, as well as all the products I'm talking about today, but this is a holy grail item. If you haven't seen my 10-step Korean skincare routine, I'll link that down below as well. This ampule is full of niacinamide and tons of revitalizing and rejuvenating ingredients to help younger, clearer skin. And thirdly, I'm going to be adding in a drop of pure hyaluronic acid. This is by Timeless, guys. It is super inexpensive. It's just a pure, basic hyaluronic acid. As I'm sure you're all aware, hyaluronic acid is an amazing skincare ingredient. It can absorb thousands of times of its own weight in water. So when it gets absorbed into the skin, it hangs onto that water and helps you really retain the moisture. So with a combination of these three amazing ingredients, we are going to create my own perfect customizable sheet mask. Now I'm going to change camera angles just while I add all of the ingredients to the pod so we can really see up close if the mask expands or swells. I'm so excited. So after that, I'll meet you right back here. All right guys, here we are. I just peeled the top off of the compressed face mask. We're gonna go ahead and add a couple of drops of the first treatment essence first and see what happens. Just gonna give it a nice good soaking. Whoa, it's starting to grow already. Can you guys, can you guys see this? Okay, that was just a couple of drops and it's totally started to swell already. So now I'm going in with my Misha's Night Repair Ampule. Soak that in there. Doesn't seem to be getting any bigger. I'm gonna add a bit more of the first treatment essence as a liquid to see if it goes, keeps growing. Just gonna go ahead and add a couple of drops of hyaluronic acid as well. Now we wait and see. There we go, this is a way better angle. You guys can see that it has grown more than double in size, but it looks like it's stopped now. I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple more minutes and hop back on the other camera. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since I last soaked the mask. As you can see, it didn't grow any more than it did in those first few seconds. You can see that the serum has sunk down to the bottom, but there is a lot of the mask that looks like there's nothing in it. So we'll open it up and take a look. All 
All right, so my first impression right off the bat is that it is not nearly saturated enough with product. I thought that I used more than enough. I used about six drops altogether. I don't know how many more drops you would want to use on one sheet mask, but it definitely isn't wet. It's not really sticking to the face. In certain areas, it definitely is sticky. I can see this being great for if you have trouble area, like just a patch here or there, that you could kind of cut this up and soak areas that you need to fix on your face, anything. Like say you have some fine lines, maybe blemishes on your forehead, maybe you just want to target that area. But if you plan on doing the whole face, it is going to take a lot of product. I'm actually so disappointed in this mask that I'm not even going to wait the 10 minutes to take it off. I'm just going to take it off right now. Okay, so in theory, I totally get how this mask would work if you had more than enough product to really soak that mask down. I just don't want to go ahead and use 10 drops of serum. That's almost a week's worth of serum on one mask. But like I said, if you had trouble areas or needed spot treatment, this would be the perfect solution for you. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the pre-soaked sheet masks that already come dripping in serum. That way I'm not wasting my own. The whole idea of having a compressed mask seems super cool and really easy and convenient, especially for traveling. But at this point, I feel like you'd have to bring a gallon of serum along with you to fill it up. So just like that, that was another face mask fail. If you have any tips or tricks for compressed sheet masks and how to maximize them, leave them in the comments down below because I'm dying to know. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I've got some wicked cool videos coming up for you guys in the future. I can't wait for you to see them. But until then, you can keep up with me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Until next time, guys, see you then.